going on y'all the review is here and I'm back to give y'all this soundtrack review of I'm about it now if y'all aren't familiar with this soundtrack which I will be surprised to for those that sub here I mean this soundtrack came out in 1997 under No Limit Records Master P was pretty much the you know the whole leader of this thing you know what I mean this is one of their first soundtracks that they came out with so this is the real deal y'all know how I do and I have the Mia X Unladylike alright so be on the lookout for that review so I'm gonna keep this kind of short because there's a lot of features on there now if you want to read the features I zoom it up there and you can pause it and read all of that but it's too many to name as far as the producers go it's too many to name as well I put all that in the description box just to save the time because it's a bunch of producers all right so let's go with the songs now all right here we go I'm gonna zoom in a little bit all right so the first one is just an intro it just leads to the song called meal ticket uh, this song is Master P, 8-Ball, and MJG, and UGK, May Pimp C, Rest in Peace. This beat is blazing, dog, and honestly, this has to be one of Master P's best verses ever. If it was Master P's best verses on video or something, this verse better be on there because P rips the hell up on this track. Ball and G... They come through with some tight flows on there. They doing their thing. UGK does the same as well. They come through with some nice flows. Bum B just come through this gripping. You know what I'm saying? Easily one of the best tracks off of the album or off the soundtrack, period. You know what I'm saying? And that hook is amazing too. Trying to get a meal to trying to get a meal. I used to sing this all the time. But anyway, the next one, I'm going to go down to situation on dirty this is a brother lynch hung solo now for those i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of brother lynch hung and i know i might get some <laughs> crap on for that but this track itself is on point um the way hung is flowing on here is just straight up ripping the beat is bumping as well the way it starts off is with some instruments or some uh, musical instruments that's playing at the beginning is really nice and this is another tight track uh, the next one is what you think and this is a mystical solo that beat is bumping on there as well uh, mystical comes through with some dope flows and he comes through with the lyrical skills that what he's known for I mean that this track is another, it's, to me, it's almost like a get crunk type track. Definitely helps me out when, I, when I'm working out in the gym, man. Bumping, you know what I'm saying? Then the next one is called Come On. This is Be Legit and E-40. And I'd be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of E-40. Be Legit is dope, though. But this song is pretty solid. Uh, the beat is solid as well and they come through with some pretty good vocals on there then the next one is called how you do that and i know a lot of people thought this was a masterpiece song but this is actually young bleed and i also have young bleed album uh, balls in my word or something like that but i have that album and i will review that in the near future but this features young bleed master p and c Loak. i believe that's his name this track was one of the most played singles off of the soundtrack. If you didn't hear this song while, you know, 97 was going on, something's wrong with you. I'm gonna put it like that. The track is solid for the most part, and there's also a video for the song as well. The next one is called Don't Mess Around, and this is a theme solo. And this track goes hard as well, man. Now, Fiend comes through with some dope flows. That beat is just straight up on point. And that hook, I used to love to say, I don't ever rap, I don't even have to say, yeah. 
I mean, it just went in, man. Definitely one of my personal favorites off of the soundtrack. If I could change, this is Master P and Steady Mobbin. Um, I don't know exactly who Steady Mobbin members are, but I'll list that in the description box. And this was another one of the singles off of the soundtrack. It didn't get too much replay like how you do that, but it did kind of reach the billboards and all that good stuff. Um, this song is pretty much struggling and trying to make it out the game and stuff like that, what Master P was talking about. Steady Mobbin really did a good job on this track as well. Um, overall, this track is solid. Then the next one is called Faces of Death. This is EA Ski and CMT. And this track is pretty good. Uh, the beat is pretty solid, but EA Ski come through with some lyrical verses on there. He does a really good job flowing on this cut. And overall, this is a pretty nice track from these guys. Then the next one is called Down and Dirty. This is Silk, Sea Murder, and Mercedes. I think this is when Mercedes first came into the scene. The beat is pretty laid back. Um, Silk and Sea Murder comes through with some nice verses. I think Silk comes through with two verses, and then Sea Murder comes through with a nice verse. And Mercedes sings the hook on there. Overall, this is a pretty good track from these guys. Uh, Mia X is here with the solo call Much Love. This is a really bumping track for Mia X. And she comes through with some nice flows on there, you know, talking about struggles and things of that nature. Um, the beat is nice, and I believe she sings the hook on there. If I'm not right on that one, please correct me. But again, this song is pretty good from her. And Sons of Funk, called Pushing Inside You, that's the name of the track. If y'all haven't heard this song before, I would have to say shame on you around that time. This was another one of the singles off of the soundtrack. There's also a video for this song as well. Um, one of the members died of Sons of Funk, um, may he rest in peace. I believe his name was Ricky J, if I'm not mistaken. But this song is really nice. You know, y'all know I'm not too much into R&B like that, but this song is definitely on point. This is a really good song to play while, you know, doing it with your girl, things like that. That, you know, just making love. Y'all, y'all know the saying. This song is really nice. It's a nice song to play with that. Then I'm gonna go down to Before I Die. This is a Mr. Servon solo. And this is when I first heard Mr. Servon back in 97. My brother used to play this soundtrack a lot. And this track goes in, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Servon comes through with a dope verse on each one. And he does a really good job with that. The beat is really dark. And he just talking about some I don't give a F type style, you know what I mean? And he just going in. The next one is called For Reals. This is a Kane and Abel. And this is a really tight track from these guys. Kane and Abel come through with some dope verses on there. And they kind of going back and forth with the verses. If y'all know Kane and Abel, they're pretty lyrical with theirs when they really want to be. And this track really shows it. And it's kind of gutter too, you know what I mean? Then the next one is called Lockdown. This is a Mac solo. Now before I get on this song, there's another version of the I'm About This soundtrack that doesn't have the song on there. So if you were to cop this CD, make sure the song Lockdown is on there if you really want to hear it. Also, Mac is out of jail. Much props, man. Hey, much respect, Mac. I appreciate you holding it down in there because you know I don't want to get too much into details, but I know plenty of people well, I wouldn't say plenty of people, but I know people that's locked up that gave up and you never gave up, man. So give man respect to my um, Mac. This song, Lockdown, is a dope ass track. This is one of my personal favorites off of the album, man. And, and it's crazy how Mac is predicting his own future, that he got locked up for something that he didn't do. You know what I mean? And I used to play this song non-stop, man. Like, I really love this song. Uh, Matt come through with some dope verses, man. Easily one of 
Max Best Versus. You know what I mean? The beat is really laid back too. Then the next one is called Heat. This is a Skull Duggery solo. Skull Duggery comes through with some nice flows on here. Um, the beat is pretty solid for the most part. And if y'all know what heat means, that means five volts all over the place and things like that. And or it could be it's hot, meaning that there's a lot of crime going on down there. It's on point, man. It's pretty nice. And then the next one, I'm gonna go down to that thing is on. Uh, this is a Moby Dick solo. And this song is really nice, man. If you love R&B, I believe you would definitely feel this cut from Moby. Y'all already know what this song is about. It's pretty much talking about making love to your woman and blah, blah, blah. Now, or if you just want to do it for a fling, who knows? But it's really nice and laid back. Then the next one, I'm going to go down to Cops Running After You. This is a prime suspect track and this track is on point to me um they rapping on that gutter stuff you know pretty much the title explains everything that needs to be said prime suspects is very underrated in my opinion man i'll just put it like that but they come through with some really dope flows on here and the beat is pretty solid for the most part then the last one is why they want to see me dead and this is a Gambino Family track. Now, I've been trying to find that Gambino Family album for the longest, the one called, um, is it Ghetto Organized or something like that? But this track goes in, man. This is probably another banger, probably one of my favorite tracks off of the album, man. The way they flowing on there is on point. The verses on there, I wish the song was a lot longer, man. This is definitely a classic track from these guys. All right, that's all the songs that I review for this album or for the soundtrack. To rate this out of a 10, I know people gave it a lot of mixed reviews and all that stuff, but I will give this a solid nine out of a 10. Um, this soundtrack was, and I can say is one of the hardest soundtracks ever when it comes to rap music. Now, I know there's some soundtracks some people might have with different genres, but when it comes to hip hop, rap, R&B, all of that mixed together in one, this soundtrack should be probably at the top 10. I love this soundtrack to death, and I, look, I can play the soundtrack about at least once a week and still be satisfied with it, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm not gonna stress too much about it because this is a pretty long review. And it would have been a lot longer if I include the producers and features, all that stuff on there. So the, the songs that I did not mention on the review, some of them are really good songs as well. But it's kind of hard to make up for a lot of these um, artists. And a lot of them are talented too. So with that being said, I don't think this soundtrack is on the streams. You know what I mean? I don't think so. So I would kick... I will hurry up cop this CD before it gets out of print, all right? So, shout out to Master P for putting together a dope ass soundtrack. Um, this soundtrack would not be forgotten. I don't care if it's been 20 years from now, it's still going to be remembered in some way, shape or form. That's it, um, much love to the real folks. Shout out to all the features and all the producers. And I'm out this jump, man. I'll be on back here. And I'll be on here back with another review. All right? Peace out, guys.